Uh, welcome back to GTU. You want those grandkids to love coming over to grandma's house. It may come down to creating the right space that they'll love to play in. Diana Bybee is here to help us create that play space. Okay, grandparent segments are some of my favorites because the grandparents are a big part of my life and helping out with my boys. I know. I'm so, so happy. We're talking all about this. So what do we want to think right away? We're starting to think about that space. What do we take into account? Well, the first thing, and I have to say, first of all, when I first knew that I was going to become a grandparent, I started thinking about, oh, how am I going to make my house fun so that they want to come over here? What am I going to do? And I started looking around my house and I started looking at different friends and family members to see what they had done. And so that's kind of how I came upon like five different things to consider. And the first thing was to choose the space. And this to me is the biggest thing. So I'd seen friends that had these cool things. My sister has this playroom and several of my friends had like closets under their stairs that they transformed. And then I started looking around my house. Where am I gonna put this magical space? And I realized I live in a one story house. It's one level. There is no closet under the stairs. And I was so disappointed. <laughs> And said, it's okay, you'll find a different space. So I looked, seriously, like every corner of my house and finally came upon this back bedroom closet that I took everything out, put in a little beanbag chair and a decal on the wall and a little hand-me-down kitchen and some things. And the first time my granddaughter came, she was too young to play back in a bedroom by herself. So I abandoned that and we just brought some toys into the living room. So the first thing is choosing the space, but you've got to keep in mind, what do you have? And then what are the ages of the kids? Totally. Those are the things to keep in mind. Before they can get up and space. run around. Right. You also say to think about safety. You don't want your play space to be like near some stairs or something like that. You don't want it to be in a dangerous spot. And you also want to keep in mind, again, the age of the kids, because if they are toddlers or babies, they're gonna need to be around adults. They don't want to be alone. I like so. that you're learning as you go because I think that's what grandparenting is all about. I am about. so learning as I go. Yes. With all of my experience now in the two years, Maggie just turned two this past week. Is she week. two? She is two. Can so you've you learned all of this. and I mean, it's a crash we'll course in the last We'll see a picture of her someplace it's, in our um, things. But you say be organized too. When you do find your space, keep it organized. Keep it organized. Kids love that feeling of calm and peacefulness. And there's so many great things out nowadays with baskets and buckets and bins. Clear bins are great because you can see what's inside. And so it's nice to keep things organized. Keep the toys packed up, maybe yeah. take out a few, at a, a few time. at a time. They don't need to have everything. When they're little, three or four things could be out as they get older, maybe six to eight, but they don't need to have access to the whole world. And you can evolve your space too. My parents just this weekend took down the playpen. That was a big deal. Oh. So we're shifting to the next phase. I love this one to add comfort. Add comfort. A beanbag chair, a soft pillow, a little cozy blankie, or even like a pad or a, a carpet if you've got a hard floor. That can also help designate, kind of delineate the space as well as, as making it cozy. So let's and touch on creative quickly because I want to get to all the pictures that you brought, but you say be creative. I mean, add some fun things in there too. You can put a decal on the wall. You can paint a room, some little fairy lights. There's just so many fun things that you can do. Okay, what's this picture? And so this one has um, just murals on the wall. They're painted like the sky and the trees and things like that. And then the different play stations around the room. So here we've got, that's my little Maggie playing in the corner, which is now what I'm using in my house. Just a corner. When she comes to visit, I bring the toys and put them in that area and she knows to, she can go play in that area. That's that so cute. She easy. knows it's her space. Oh, and a reading nook. This is under a stairs, a little reading nook that one of my friends made. And she puts books for different seasons there. It's so cute. And here, just the simple, this designated drawer in the family, or this designated cupboard in the family room has the toys in it for the toddlers and babies. So when they come, they can just open up the cupboard and they're right there. A little, a little my sister-in-law has a little reading nook, um, sleeping area in one of the bedrooms that the kids can crawl up and read or they could even sleep there. That's that just so, so fun? cozy, my kids love things like that. And this. you go to grandma's house and that's so special. And this is another under the closet, my my personal favorite, if I had a stairs, it's I would do magical, that under the stairs. It's magical, the little spaces. So magical, but this little guy But what you're showing has. is you can create this anywhere. You can do it anywhere. Like I said, I was even gonna do a bedroom closet. This is under the stairs 
doors, this little closet um, opens up and it's just a tiny little midget sized closet. And then inside is like a little restaurant to play restaurant. And then it opens up onto the other side in, a, in the hole of a tree. Um, you can see the tree with the little opening oh, cute. that they can come out and go through. Is Pure that adorable? Magic for a little kid. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is Aunt Allie's house. You know, Maggie loves to go to Aunt Allie's house. I can't believe how creative fun. you can be, though, with a space no matter what I size. Know. Was that like a little store? Like a little store. How they can cute. play store. This is a mailbox. And this little girl, Dixie, loves to check the mailbox when she comes to her grandma's house. Once a day, something appears. A note. A little treat. And it comes to her from a mermaid, but it could be a special friend or a fairy or grandma herself. Um, I'm and stealing she looks that idea. It. Isn't that so fun? That is so cute. And that's Dixie's favorite thing when she comes. She comes from Texas to where I live oh. in and just loves to check her mail every day. I you think you're doing it. such a great job as grandma. Yep. So I am having so much fun, honestly. And, you know, hopefully my play place will progress with the age of my Well, and thank you for sharing all those so. ideas for our viewers out there. You're at InFindTaste.com and on Instagram and Facebook, InFindTaste for more ideas. Yep.